Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy Magazine, and this time I want to talk about a celebration, a centennial. It was a hundred years ago when a young astronomer, Edwin Hubble, in the Los Angeles area, left his Pasadena office, went up to his favorite instrument at the time, the 100-inch Hooker telescope on Mount Wilson, and investigated what he called spiral nebulae. One of his favorite objects of all was then called the Andromeda Nebula. And on the night of October 4th, 1923, he took a glass plate of the Andromeda Nebula that turned out to be one of the most famous images in the history of science. He imaged the Andromeda Nebula. He was stunned back in his office in Pasadena to see what he thought was an exploding star, a nova. But then he compared it with earlier observations and found that it was actually a particular kind of a variable star called a Cepheid variable. By comparing its apparent brightness to what's known about Cepheid variable stars, he just about fell out of his chair in his office. He could calculate that the Andromeda Nebula was a million light years away. Well, now we know it's 2.5 million light years away. This was three times the size of what anyone thought the cosmos was at the time. But in one observation in the fall of 1923, Hubble unlocked the distant scale of the universe to a first approximation and also the nature of galaxies as large systems of stars, gas, and dust away from our own Milky Way. And now we know that the Andromeda Nebula and other spiral systems like it are separate island universes, galaxies of stars, gas, and dust at very remote distances. So when you're out looking at the Andromeda Galaxy, we now know it is for a hundred years, remember the story of Edwin Hubble and how he unlocked the key secret of the cosmos. I'll see you next time.